Hey guys, just browsing back at you one more again. I hope everybody has been having a purplicious week. I've just been so busy and stuff has just been going crazy. I read my um, horoscope for the week and it said that things were going to be coming at me all in different directions. They weren't playing. <laughs> they were not playing at all. Uh, one daughter was sick. The other one got into a head-on collision over the weekend. And it's just been really crazy. Thank God my baby was okay. You know, she was in the back seat and face hit the, the seat and flew forward and everything else. But thank God both parties, everybody was fine. Just a little bumped up, shaked up, shook up, or whatever you want to call it. And that's it. You know, I said, blessed be that nothing ever happened. But today my video is about to be on new beginnings. New beginnings. Oh my gosh. It just feels like I'm on a totally different path now. You know, first the videos that I started out with was Indigos and found out Twin Flame and, you know, trying to get reunited with my family. That's going to always be the same. But now it just feels like I, it, it goes deeper than that. It goes really deeper than that. You know, um, I don't know if my dad's going through some situation over on the other side, but it, it, I feel something like he's not letting something go. I don't know. Um, I think it has something to do with, you know, the situation with us. You know, it just never came to a conclusion. And right now, it's like him not wanting to let go. I was listening to a song the other day called Way Back Home. I don't know if I ever mentioned that song on any of my other videos. But it, w it came to a part on, I think it was like on the third verse, third set of verses. Um, where he says, uh, power to the people that can raise a child like me. I just bolted out saying I never had a chance to be a father. And I hear it in my head just playing over and over again. And I started feeling these emotions where I just could not stop crying. And I'm like, I just see myself telling my dad, you know, I'm here, you know, accept my love to you. Um, I'm here for guidance and love and care or whatever you need me for. I'm here. And, you know, it really felt really bad to me because I feel myself healing because I don't really feel like I did when I first started this situation. It's just like, you know, if you ever feel like you're stuck and there's sometimes I feel like I'm stuck, I look back from a year or two from now, uh, I mean, from before uh, to um, things that I'm going through now. It's just like, you know, everybody has their hiccups. You know, you get upset about things, people press your buttons, you know, that, that happens. Um, but you always have to be careful how you react to them. And I, I, I'm still learning that. I really am still learning that. Um, and it is just, it's a good feeling to actually be able to look at things now and not be hurt about it and just look at it for the lesson and be able to let it go um and actually just look at it for what it is and just learn the lesson from it you know what did you get out of it you know because it's just like a lot of things i went through was really jacked up and really you know heartbreaking you know very heartbreaking and i was just like wow you know you had a lot of growing up to do you had a lot of learning about yourself you know learning my true self you know i just uh after for a while, uh, after a while, um, when I was going through my situation, there was just people that, you know, I stopped talking to, you know, they stopped talking to me, you know, it was just really bad because it just feels like when I needed people the most, there was nobody there. But I guess with the situation, it was just so messed up. They did not know how to take it. Like, dang, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't know what to do. I don't know if I would blew my head off. I would you know, went to a start raving mad fool or would have did something that I regretted. And I understood. I had to really look at it like, you know, I had to play my part in it too. You know, you only can sit up here and tell people your problems so many times. You know, a lot of people, are, they're dealing with their own stuff. So they're, you know, they can only listen to you just a little bit sometimes, you know, or you actually got one of those good friends that are there for me for 50 then if you got one of those baby you better bless them every time you know anything good happens you better make sure that person is around you know but then there you have times where you know tough times will really let you know who are there for you and who are not and i've learned to realize you know hey <laughs> like my dad said you are on your own <laughs> you are really on your own um and i'm i'm okay about that i really am 
Uh, I know I'm not actually alone, even though if I was to stop talking to anybody physically, I know I am not alone. I still have my angels, you know, my dad, you know, I got family all up above, whatever. But I know I would be okay. But it's now with me being on this journey, you know, I've been doing nature walks, trying to get my answers, doing meditations, trying to talk to my spirit guides about everything that's going on because it's like sometimes I would feel my dad. <clears throat> it's presence and then sometimes I wouldn't so I was just like what, what's going on you know why am I not feeling him when I call out to him I don't you know feel his presence sometimes and I just wonder why so you know I have to just do some meditations I probably got to do some more tonight because it was like when I see my dad he was just like really upset and I did not like seeing him like that and you know it really put me in my feelings. I was just like, wow, I'm just here to help you, you know. But I guess, you know, when you get into one of those situations where you get upset and it's just like nobody can get your attention. And I know that. I've been there all the time. You know, not all the time, but I've been there a few times. You know, but it was like I always stayed in a negative spot. And it's, this year I said I, I'm going to make a new change because I know I couldn't really deal with all that stuff anymore. You know, I didn't want to deal with it that way anymore. I had to get off those comfort zones and always think of things, you know, glass half empty, always being a pessimistic all the time because I just felt like just because I did not feel what love was, I just felt like I wasn't lovable at the time and I know I had to love myself. And so I used to hate always wanting to be by myself. Sometimes it's like, you know, I, I felt that way my whole life. Like I didn't really, you know, fit in or, you know, I didn't really can't put in be put in a category with people and I don't know if it was just because I was adopted or whatever but I still feel that way I you know my friends that ask you know the ones that do invite me places or whatever and they want me to go somewhere I just cringe you know I went to go see the movie get out really good movie really 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 good movie it's just like I told my friends on Facebook you know there's a lot of them that are biracial couples and I told them I love you guys all the way <laughs> you know I have no kind of racial bone in my body but after watching that movie got me looking at y'all all a different different kind of way and we're like wait a minute was it that bad yes it was that bad you know it, it's, it's just the movies lately i have been picking in some way it is like it's telling me subliminal message that you know it's something i've been through you know i've had somebody alter you know play with my mind to where it altered my my um uh, my personality and you know my life there was a lot of things that i wasn't able to remember that's how i know there was techniques moved you know uh made on me because i started having different fragments of things that happened on my life and i just did not know what it was i'm like why do i hear screaming one day and then i see somebody holding a baby the next and then it's just like when i hear the voice it sounds like a woman because it's a very high-pitched voice but in actuality it's my dad um, and there's a lot of things that's going around 818. <laughs> so, um, I've been doing a lot of sacred eyes lately, but it's just been rarely now it's like either sevens, threes, or ones. So, um, and I've been seeing a lot of doves. So I know I've been going through a lot of spiritual growth. You know, um, uh, I had a friend that we haven't talked in a while and we, you know, finally started talking, and she's like, girl, you don't, you know, you don't sound the same, and I'm just like, I, I can't be that person anymore, I have to learn to love myself, know that the things that I'm going through, what you continue, what you allow will continue, okay, so I had to, you know, I have to cut that off, I, I can't deal with that, because I deserve to be happy, you know, uh, be able to love myself more, to be able to appreciate what life and you know my spiritual guides are actually given to me is just something I, I will always be grateful for so i'm loving these new beginnings and um i just wanted to share that with you guys and i hope you guys are doing very good i hope everybody's prospering and having more abundance in your life i said make sure you say your affirmations whatever you want you speak on it. Make sure it's positive, not, nothing negative on nobody or wishing something bad on anybody. You don't want that to come back on you. But always make sure it is anything you want. Make a goal. For, well, not actually a goal for yourself. You don't want to make goals for yourself because some people don't keep them. So <laughs> just make sure you say affirmations to yourself on things that you want. You know, I always 
talk about being successful, being the best at everything that I do, you know, for me to meet my family, um, for me to, you know, put goals on myself, you know, actually put things that I want to do for myself. I don't want to say goals, but um, things that I actually want to do to better myself as a person, you know, be able to do things that I can set a platform for me and my children. And, you know, I, I just hope that everybody's doing good. Please like, subscribe, comment, write. You know, hit me up on Facebook, Indigo, Indigo Goddess. It's only one D, not two. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace, love, and light. Right.